we're doing, make some noise for 50 years right now. Let's make some noise. Listen, I don't have much time. Uh, I'm here to celebrate what Dr. King did 50 years. I'm not even probably going to read from the teleprompter because I'm just going to speak from my heart. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now that everybody my age and all the entertainers, it's time for us to stand up now and renew this dream. That's what we got to do. I was affected by I was affected by the Trayvon Martin situation. I was affected by by uh, Newtown. I was affected by Sandy Hook. I'm affected by those things. So it's time for us now to pick up. Harry Belafonte saw me at the Image Awards and he asked me, "What am I willing to do?" He took it a step further, and we went to dinner. And my daughter, who's 19 years old, I said, "Listen, if you want to get inspired, come listen to this man speak." When I sat with Mr. Belafonte, he asked my daughter. How old are you? <laughs> and my daughter said 19. And I said, Mr. Belafonte, what were you doing in 19? He said, I was coming home from World War II. And when I got back to America, I wasn't allowed to vote. So I love my country. I love America. But I realized that I had more work to do. So myself, Al, Jesse, and Martin, we marched. And I said, wait a minute, man. You sound like you're naming a boy band group. What do you mean? Who are these guys' names? And he looked at my daughter and he said, Martin Luther King, have you heard of him? And we sat there and we cried. What we need to do now is the young folks pick it up now so that when we're 87 years old, talking to the other young folks, we could say it was me, Will Smith, Jay-Z, Kanye, Alicia Keys, Kerry Washington, the list goes on and on. Don't make me start preaching up here. Last but not least, I have to recognize Mr. Barry Gordy. And not only that, not only did Harry Belafonte bail Martin Luther King out of jail so that he could march, he also paid for all of Coretta Scott King's bills as long as she was on this planet. Young folks, let's have some respect to our elders. That's the first thing. Last thing is this, and I'm out. I know they're telling me to get out of here. Uh, we have to salute Mr. Barry Gordy because Mr. Barry Gordy put Dr. King's speech on an album and put it out on Motown Records. And then after he did that, he turned around and gave those uh, uh, those reels and those those tapes back to the King family. Thank you so much. Do not forget 50 years. I'm, I'm out. Thank you.